As a member of the Kinder Plans website, you will have access to a full kindergarten math curriculum. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate games that can be used to review numbers. As a member of the Kinder Plans website, you will have access to dot cards, 10 frame cards, and number cards. The dot cards go to 10, and the 10 frames go to 20, and the number cards go to 20. These are great for playing games. They would be cut and placed upside down. Each player would take a turn choosing a card. For example, if they chose the 10 frame 7, they would take a bingo chip and place it on the grid board. Each player would have their own grid board. The first person to have one of the grids completed would be the winner. This game is called Fill the Game Board. Each player would have their own color of bingo chips. They would take turns picking up a, a card. The card could be a 10 frame card, a dot card, or also a number card, depending what you want to focus on. Player one picks up a card. They have selected the nine frame card. So they would take the, their color bingo chip and place it on the number nine. The object of the game is to get the, the game board filled. This can be a cooperation game. It could also be a more competitive game. The player with the most bingo chips, color bingo chips, would be the winner. This game is similar to the previous game, but the children must fill the cup. Player one would select a card. They have selected the nine frame, so they'd move that many spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They must identify the number four and place that many bingo chips in the cup. The first person to have their cup filled with bingo chips would be the winner. This can be a more cooperation game as well, whereas only one cup would need to be filled. The object of the game is to have them both fill the cup together. This game is called Beat the Clock. The children would be taught how to set a, a timer and see if they could beat it. Number one would select a card. They have selected number eight, so they would place that many big O chips on the game board. Player two would take a turn and see if and place that number on the game board. They would see if they could fill the game board before the timer goes off. If you're working with larger numbers, the children could use a graph and they would see how many times that they could complete the game before the timer goes off. This game is called spin a, spin a Number. Each player has a number graph that looks like this. Player one would take a turn rolling a spinner. For example, if it landed on number 11, they'd place their bingo chip on that number. Then player two would take a turn and do the same thing. The first person that has one of the grids on the graph completed would be the winner. This activity would be used as an assessment tool uh, and includes numbers up to 20. For example, the clown has seven circles, so the children would have their number board and they would look to see, count the number of circles and notice a color and color the numeral that matches that color they would complete their board. The teacher could use this and see if that they have used the correct color that matched the number on the circle.